We're going to start kind of moving into where we are now. Right. Including tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Sonny, very good. (laughs) Yeah, which is something that happened last week. It is. Yeah, we're going to we're going to fast forward to real time practically. Uh, Mm -hmm. So I got to I had a little bit of a hot wife adventure. We'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. Marina's um, accidental. Marina's accidental hot wife adventure because it really was accidental. So I had to go to uh, Colorado for a conference. In going to that conference, uh, I have a friend that sometimes when I travel, I'm able to meet up with him. And it turned out at this particular conference that um, he was going to be in the same area. And so uh, we decided to try and meet. He travels a lot. I travel a lot. And so um, when our paths cross... We like to try meat. So I knew that I was going to be able to connect with him. And um, he's an amazing man. I so enjoy his company. We could probably sit and talk for hours. I know you guys find that very surprising. <laughs> what? Marina could sit and talk for hours? But I I can because that's who you guys know. That's who I find sexually attractive. And that's kind of part of my own kind of foreplay is like super intellectual talking. And so um, I love spending time with him and then we get to be together and it's just awesome. So I always look forward to seeing him. So I knew that that was going to happen and I knew I was going to be out of town for four days, four nights. And I knew that I was going to be able to connect with him at some point in time. Um, He's a lover. I've known him for a while. He knows what's going on with me. There was no pressure. There was no Uh, you know, we don't even have to play. It's just an amazing man that's in my life. And so, um, but I was looking forward to connecting with him and playing with him, you know, because it's been a while. So, um, but it was, it was wonderful. I mean, so I knew that that was coming. So then um, it also turned out that a playmate of mine was also going to um, be in the same place (laughs) actually at, at the same conference. Mm -hmm. And we, um, have connected before. And so, but never really, um, had had an opportunity to spend any significant time together in any kind of a play capacity. Let's put it that way. So we knew it was on the table and it was something we'd always talked about, but it kind of, um, taking it to the next level, we'll put it that way. So uh, it turned out that I got a, a call from him a couple weeks before the event. And he said, hey, I, I'm, turns out I'm going to this event. And I said, oh, holy shit, that's awesome. I'm going to be there also. Um, unfortunately, Tristan is not traveling with me at this particular time because I do travel by myself. And uh, so I said, well, you know, but that's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, let's see if we can connect and can we arrange it so that our paths can cross. And so that was kind of a goal there. So I knew I was going to be able to see my dear friend, and now I'm going to be able to possibly connect with my other friend that we finally would be able to connect. So that was fantastic, and I was really looking forward to it, and I was kind of getting excited about the fact that some, you know, this this could come up. And again, though, dear friend, so I had to tell him what's going on. This is what's happening with me. I don't know, and I can't trust that I'm going to be in an okay place in space. So... And of course he was lovely and just like everybody else, instead of whatever you need, baby, what do you mean? You know, whatever, whatever doesn't even matter. That's not about, that's not what all of this is always all about, but if we can make it happen, that's okay too. So, um, so I, you know, I, I was very honest and open with everybody about, you know, kind of what's going on. So I was very, um, pleased that that would be a possible opportunity to connect. And then, and then, um, about four or five days before I actually left, um, a play partner that I have lives in Denver and I did not reach out to him. I was in Denver. I did not reach out to him because I just didn't know how I was going to feel. I thought I can't reach out and then say, no, I can't do this. I'm actually at this other event. There's other things going on. So mm, I, I would hate to accidentally kind of dangle a carrot and then say, but we can't, we can't meet. So I never, I decided not to, to reach out to him out of the blue. He texted me like five days before, not even a week before and, and said, 
you know, hey, I'm, and we actually are going to see each other uh, at the end of this month. And he was texting just to say, hey, you know, I'll see you in about a month or so. And I said, hey, I'm going to be in Colorado in like five days. And he said, holy shit, why did you not tell me? And I said, well, this is what's going on with me. So I told him about the things that have been going on. And, um, and so he said, look, let's see if we can connect. And, um, you know, if you have time in your schedule and I did, and it was important to be able to see him. And I had already even kind of, um, set aside time thinking I might touch, you know, touch base with him, but I didn't. So that was so crazy that he contacted me and we both had a good laugh about that. So, so I went from knowing that I would see my, my dear friend, my, my lover, my friend, that I would see him at least twice to then now there was an opportunity that I might be able to run into some other people. And so, um, so I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. We'll just go with the flow. And, uh, so, um, it turned out actually rather well. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a little bit about it without going into too much graphic detail. Although I know you guys love graphic detail. I love graphic detail. I know. And Tristan <clears throat> did get all the graphic details. I got all the, so I will yeah, not I got all go, the graphic details. I'll get as graphic as I can without being overly graphic. So, hmm. um, so. I, uh, show up in, in, um, Colorado and my friend that, uh, actually I have family that lives there too. I was a very busy woman. So I actually connected with my family that lives out there and, uh, and had that. And, um, and so then, um, after I connected with my family that was out there, the rest of the evening was free on that particular first night. And my friend that we had never connected, so we're going to call him guy number two. So number one is, is my lover buddy that I travel and I see when I'm traveling. Number two is potential, you know, bud. And number three is my playmate, my Denver playmate. So this is number two. <laughs> so number two, uh, he happened to be around when I was actually, it was... There were so many things that were just kind of like, oh, if I see you, I will see you. And then I, we would see each other. And so it was um, it was kind of crazy. And it felt very if you're into um, you, the universe had a nice hand in that. If you if you're into that stuff, I kind of am. Uh, so I appreciated it very much that I'm like, yeah, we're going to go with it and see what happens. And all this stuff fell into my lap. So, um, so he and I connected and that was the first time that we'd ever been together, uh, sexually. And it was so unexpectedly amazing. We connected on a level that was unexplainable in the sense that I like him. We like each other. We've always gotten along. We've always been flirty, but the intensity that kicked in once we started getting physical was what caught us both off guard. We were both like, what the f is like, how can this be this intense and this exciting? And, um, part of it, or one of the things I told you, Tristan, when you guys will hear about it, there's a, there was a, an event, a, um, a workshop that we did in New Orleans, Dragonfly and E did a, a workshop and they call it sexual connections or something. And basically it's about kind of just being mindful and being in the moment and not talking to someone, but actually letting your senses kind of drive you with your connection. So it's not really even looking at the person. It's not about physicality. It's about energy and pheromones mm -hmm. and touch and um you guys will hear us talk about it it was one of the most amazing experiences yeah. of things that we've done and we all loved it and in that particular exercise though i talk about the fact that i i didn't get a connection like that with someone i know it exists i could see it happening for other people there just wasn't anybody that was so it was so visceral mm -hmm. And you, I think you have. Oh, yeah. 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 All of us had that except me. All of you guys had some kind of a super visual, visceral reaction to someone. 
and I saw it and we all talked about it and I had nice reactions, but I didn't have anything like that. And then with number two, I, I said to you that I get it Mm -hmm. like holy because like I said, we've always been attracted and flirty to each other, but it was nothing like what happened when we got in each other's space and it took off and it was a fire and it was amazing. And it's very, that kind of chemistry has only happened to me probably three times that I can even remember in the lifestyle. Hmm. And, and he might be number three. Phoenix was one. Our playmates from our very first time in, in Naughty. Yeah. I, know who <laughs> I can't remember about. who, if we, what we called them. <laughs> Um, I think we just called them our Atlanta couple. I think we did. Yeah. 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 And gosh, I really feel like that's, I mean, there have been others that have been, but this was so fast and so instant and so chemical. I can think of maybe two others that do kind of fall in that category too, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, But anyways, uh, so it was um, totally unexpected, totally took both of us by surprise And, um, we could not get enough of each other. And that was an amazing experience and an amazing thing to happen when I haven't been feeling like I could get interested in anything or anyone, um, besides you and Phoenix. It's been very, very challenging to feel open and vulnerable and sexy and wanted by anybody else. And so this was, it was insane. And I'm sure all of that, all of this stuff had something to do with it, but it totally took me off guard because I haven't been feeling any of those things. And then when that happened and everything, just at all of my guards, everything, all those feelings, all of those emotions, everything just dropped. And, um, and it was just like, it was gone. And so it was so amazing and so wonderful. And there wasn't anything like super crazy. It was just a lot hot sex. (laughs) It was great. It was, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of, like I said, we couldn't get enough of each other. And every time we would stop, we would all of a sudden find ourselves back on top of each other entwined and him inside of me. And it was just like, we can't, we, our bodies just kept coming back together. It's like, no, okay, we're going to stop. We're gonna take a break. You drink water. We're going to, you know, let's just talk for a few minutes. So, surprising that I love to sit and chat. So we're chatting and then we're chatting and then all of a sudden we're f-ing while we're chatting and I'm like, wow. I mean, we, and we both are like, what is wrong with us? This is not, you know? And so it was really, really wonderful because it was totally reciprocated. And I think that fueled the fire and that really kind of set the stage for, for the rest of kind of the week. It really, um, I couldn't have, I could not have planned it ever. First of all, cause I didn't even know I was going to see him. And then secondly, oh, I would never would have thought that there was, would have been this kind of connection. And it was, it was insanely wild. And you liked hearing about oh, it. Oh yeah. I loved hearing about it. <laughs> yeah. And because of the time difference, I wouldn't, oh, he- that's right. <clears throat> I yeah, wouldn't yeah, get yeah. my updates until, you know, well after I was asleep and or well after I was already in my office working. And so, <laughs> you know, yeah. that was frustrating. Yeah, so I've I've been filling you in on our details and like mm-hmm. oh, just yeah. just got home and or just got back to my room and so it was really really f- hot and um, I I don't even know that I could explain any more besides to say it was just really f- hot so it was awesome and um, and amazing. Yeah.